Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about different Agile frameworks. I'll provide you with a briefing on each framework and guide you through selecting the most fitting one for your project. Stay tuned as we match different Agile methodologies to their ideal project scenarios. Now, before we dive into the content, I have an exciting announcement to share with you all. I have crafted an in-depth JIRA course available at managementbliss.com designed to elevate your skills from beginner to expert in just six hours. This comprehensive course is your gateway to mastering JIRA and it's a valuable addition to your professional toolkit. So whether you are starting from scratch or looking to refine your expertise, this course is tailored just for you. Knowing Jira is a real asset to your resume as well. Okay, coming back. Agile methodologies are used widely in project management as these methodologies offer flexibility, efficiency and have a focus on continuous improvement. Let's talk about different Agile frameworks with their unique characteristics and let's know how you can choose the most suitable one for your project. So you've guessed the first one correctly. That is, let's talk about Scrum. Scrum is the most popular framework and is widely used in a lot of projects these days. All this popularity is because of its clear structure and its adaptability to handle complex evolving projects. It divides work into sprints, which are short and consistent work cycles that allow for rapid adjustment and feedback. The Scrum team has three key roles, including product owner who defines the work, the Scrum master who facilitates the process and the team which actually does the work. Scrum has four ceremonies to implement the flexibility, feedback and continuous learning. They are sprint planning meeting, meeting to finalize what is up for next sprint, the sprint retrospective meeting to learn from mistakes and continue the best, the daily stand-up meeting to maintain the focus and remove obstacles. Finally, the sprint review meeting to get feedback on sprint deliverables. Scrum is well suited for projects with rapidly changing or highly emergent requirements. It is also effective for the projects where solution is not clearly defined, thus allowing Scrum framework to get the solutions through its iterative development. Towards the end of the video, I'll provide you with an illustrative example for each framework. This will enhance your understanding of types of projects best suited for every Agile methodology we are discussing. Okay. The next one is Kanban. Kanban is a versatile framework tailored for projects that need a consistent and continuous workflow such as ongoing support and maintenance operations. It has a highly visual system that utilizes boards and cards to monitor the progress of tasks, providing a clear overview in just a glance. Unlike Scrum, Kanban is not constrained by fixed time intervals, which grants teams good flexibility in managing tasks and responding to new information. One important characteristic of Kanban is its focus on limiting work in progress. In order to highlight the bottlenecks and inefficiencies, allowing teams to address issues proactively. Moreover, Kanban's nature makes it particularly good for environments where priorities shift rapidly and reason can be many, for example, receiving a severity one issue. Additionally, Kanban promotes continuous delivery and improvement by allowing work items to be pulled as capacity permits rather than being pushed into process when it's not ready. 
Kanban ensures a sustainable pace and a quality of work. Teams that implement Kanban can also benefit from better resource allocation, reduced cycle times, and enhanced team focus, making Kanban organizations top choice aiming to optimize their operational efficiency. Moving on, let's discuss lean and extreme programming, which while distinct, both originate from the principle of lean manufacturing. These methodologies are united by a core philosophy, maximizing value while minimizing waste. Lean is all about doing more with less. It comes from an idea in manufacturing to make things efficiently without wasting time, material or effort. Here, the focus is on identifying anything that doesn't add value to the customer and trying to reduce or eliminate it. Now, this reduction might be in simple things like identifying unnecessary meetings and removing them or simplifying the processes or removing unnecessary documentation, etc, etc. The goal is to make team more efficient, which is eventually able to deliver value faster and more consistently. Extreme programming, commonly known as XP, is a rigorous software development methodology that has a set of rules designed to elevate the quality of the product and ensure it aligns closely with users' requirements. XP promotes some practices such as pair programming, where two developers work simultaneously at one computer, or some other practices like continuous integration and frequent testing to identify issues early on and regular stakeholder engagement to confirm that the development is on track with customers' needs. Lean and XP are particularly beneficial for startups where resources are limited and there's a need to deliver cutting-edge technology swiftly. These methodologies facilitate a lean approach to development. It streamlines the processes, reduces the costs, and avoids wasteful expenditure of time and effort. These frameworks are also good for environments focusing on process improvement as they encourage constant evaluation and refinement of development practices. Next, let's turn our attention to Crystal framework. Crystal places a strong emphasis on the individuals and interactions within a project team rather than rigidly following a set of processes. This framework is highly adaptable, tailored to scale its practices to match the size of a team and the type of the project. Crystal promotes the principles of frequent delivery, close communication and ongoing reflective improvement. Crystal is different from others because of its fluidity. That is, it allows the teams to modify their methods to better suit the evolving needs of the project and to optimize what is most effective for the team and the nature of work in hand. This human-centric approach makes Crystal especially good for the projects that require effective communication. Crystal can be suitable for a team that is involved in the development of custom software solution for a small to medium business such as CRM management system that is customer relationship management system. Now how to choose the right agile framework for your project? Well, Selection of an Agile framework requires a careful assessment of your project's characteristics, the product you are building, your team's working style, and the organization you're working with. One needs to consider factors like project size, complexity, stakeholder involvement, and the need for flexibility. 
Let me reiterate the strengths of each framework and hence what kind of projects are well suited for them. For instance, Scrum is excellent for projects needing regular feedback while Kanban suits ongoing tasks with varying properties. Understand your team's strength and the nature of your work to select a framework that aligns with your project's goals. Scrum Strengths Highly structured, promotes quick development cycles called sprints, encourages regular feedback and promotes highly adaptive environment. Ideal projects for Scrum are It is best for the projects where the requirements are rapidly changing or are not well defined. It is also effective in complex projects which need iterative development and testing. An example could be it is suited for a project building a new mobile app which needs quick feedback from clients as well as it needs to adapt itself by the changing market needs. Next is Kanban. Strengths focuses on continuous delivery. It requires minimal upfront planning and helps in managing workflow and identifying bottlenecks using visual boards. Ideal projects. It is suitable for projects that require steady workflow and continuous delivery like an ongoing maintenance or incremental improvement. An example could be a web development team fixing issues on an ongoing web application. For example, student management system. Up next is Lean and XP. Strengths Emphasizes on waste reduction, continuous improvement and delivering value with excellence to customers. Ideal projects these frameworks are best suited for the projects in dynamic environments where efficiency and speed are crucial along with high quality. An example could be a financial services company developing a new trading platform which needs to adapt quickly to changing financial regulations and user feedback. The last one is Crystal. Strengths are emphasizes on flexibility and efficiency, methodologies according to team size and project criticality. Ideal projects. Crystal is best suited for smaller, less critical projects where a lightweight, adaptable approach is beneficial. An example could be a team working on an internal business application that is an application which has to be consumed within the organization. For example, a portal for an organization. So we explored different agile frameworks. Each framework offers unique benefits and is suited for different project environments. I suggest you to explore these frameworks fully to leverage their potential. Stay tuned for more in this Agile playlist. In my upcoming videos, I will be going into the details of Scrum, Kanban, Lean and Crystal. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay in touch with me through comments, LinkedIn and my website managementbliss.com.